You see this Nigerian bridal gala style? People call it ace, pinnacle, bridal fan. This style can never go out of style because it suits all face shapes and everybody. And I want to teach you how to tie it. So sit back, relax and enjoy and watch till the very end to see all the tips I'm going to be sharing with you. Come with me. So I'm starting off with about six pleats. Depending on the length of your gele, you can start with as many pleats as you like. Okay? And I'm straightening these pleats and laying them on top of each other. And I'm letting the model hold on to the gele. Now I'm on the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. Meanwhile, because this girl is going to be V-shaped in front, this side I'm working on is going to go behind her ear. Alright, then I'm going to go to the back to cross the gele. Mind you, when crossing this gele at the back, the shutter flap goes on top. Like, the shutter flap goes to the top, while the longer flap of the gele goes underneath then you have to make sure you straighten all the pleats that come from the front each one of them before you cross the gele the measurement i use for this gele is 3565 meaning that the 35 flap is what will be on top when you're crossing it at the back because the 35 is obviously shorter than the 65. now um this gele is for Joinings. It has four joinings in it and it is 90 inches long. I'm going to put all the details of the gele on the screen for you to remember easily, alright? Or if you want to take a screenshot. Now, this is the 35 flap of the gele, the one we put on top when we were crossing it at the back. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make pleats on this flap. However, the pleats I'm going to make on this flap is going to be much more than the pleats I made on the other side of the flap. I mean the side I started with. You know, I started with, I said six pleats. I started with like six pleats. But on this flap, I'm going to be making like eight or nine pleats on this flap. This is so that it gives um, it gives the gele a kind of illusion like it's it makes it appear like it is higher it makes the gale look higher on the middle side you're going to see what i'm talking about by the end of the video like i said earlier on the number of pleats you are going to start with and the number of pleats you will make on this particular flap that I'm working on is dependent on the number of flaps on your gele. I mean number of layers, pardon me, number of layers on your gele, which we refer to as awe. This particular gele has four layers. It has awe mary in it, all right? And that's why I'm able to make up to six flaps. But for example, if you have, if you're using a gele that has five layers, that has five away in it, you can make more than six splits, depending on what you want. But if you're using a gele that has like away meta, you know you won't be able to do up to that. So that's what I meant by it is dependent on the length of your gele and the number of layers you have on it. And if the gele is not up to 90 inches, you might not be able to achieve this style so that being said if you are new here my name is zainab and you can call me z the channel name is miss z pro the z there is my name miss z pro all right that's my name across all social media platform on facebook instagram tiktok and all over all right that's my name across all social media platform and I am a professional makeup artist and a gele artist based in Ibadan, Nigeria. I work outside of Ibadan, of course. So if you need my service outside of Ibadan or outside of Nigeria, please reach out to me on Instagram, on Facebook, or wherever it's convenient for you. My WhatsApp number is 
it is on the screen please reach out to me on whatsapp if you prefer that and if you have a gilly style that you'd like me to tie on this channel please send it to me on whatsapp or on instagram i am most active on these two platforms i'm active on the other platform too but i'm most active on whatsapp and instagram all right so whatever it is you can reach out to me or if you have a concern or you want to reach out to me and ask about my training or whatever you can reach out to me and my returning subscribers you already know you are the real mvp thank you for always coming back thank you for always supporting this channel thank you for always keeping this family going you are the real mvp all right thank you so much you know i love you you already know i love you so so much now this gala is actually self-explanatory but i'll still be doing some explanations for the sake of people that might be beginners all right people that are still trying to get it right with their gala time so we've already crossed the gala in front to form the v shape in front all right and i've laid the longer flap the 65 flap you remember we started with 65 35 measurement and we've already made use of the 35 flap now this is the 65 flap that i've already placed on the overall gilly and i'm now forming pleats forming these pleats you have to be precise and you have to ensure that the pleats starts from the right side to the left side depending on which direction you are tying your gilly or which direction you are forming your pleats towards so me I'm, I'm doing it from left to right okay so i'll ensure my pleats from the beginning starts from the left and goes through to the other side meanwhile because of the style we're tying you know it's not completely round it has fan on the side like small fan on the side so to form the fan on the side it doesn't have to be so much to form the fan on the side the the pleat is not going to go to the other end you can see that the side remaining the fabric remaining on this side is not enough to go as a complete pleat to the other side so that's what we are going to be using to form the fan on the side and it is pretty easy to do so if you watch closely you're going to see that you just do it as if you are forming new pleats but since it's not going to get to the other side of the gele it's going to form the v instead of going as round pleats if you get what i'm saying all right let's zoom in so what i'm trying to do here is that all the pleats every single one of them i'm trying to ensure that it reaches the back of her head like the back of her neck where the delay is where the pleats should end so i'm making sure the pleats all the pleats and i'm pulling out every available fabric there so that the pleats will get to the very very root of that gilly this will ensure that your pleats look neat one and two this will make the pleats not be opening up because if the plate does not get to if any of the plates doesn't get to this part it's going to be opening up and it will it tends to make your gele look um unprofessionally tired or look rough at the end of the day so you can see how i am tracing each and every plate this is very 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 important when you are tying this style of gele you have to ensure the plate gets you see how i'm using my nails to push the gele or i mean the pleats back in and pushing them back in to get to the root and you ensure that it is set there are some little little things that we overlook when we are tying gele and those are the things that tend to ruin the outcome of our gele the most little things little details that we overlook so when we are tying our gele let's ensure that we pay attention we 
pay attention to every little details especially when it comes to the plates let me mention those things that you have to pay attention to crossing your gele at the back and making sure the gele is firm from the beginning like wherever you start the gele from if it is front or back you have to ensure it is firm when you are crossing it for the first time or when you are you know crossing it at the back is like tying but you are not tying it you are crossing the gele at the back but so you have to ensure that it is really really firm because that is like the base of your gele that like okay that's like the foundation of your gele please look at what i'm doing here really closely i'm asking the model to use her index finger to hold on to the four six split and using the rest of her fingers to hold on to all the entire pleats together this will ensure that your gele will not be shifted the base will not be shifted because sometimes when you tie this gele you realize that the v that you formed in front has shifted this is what is responsible for it if you did not if you do not let the person hold on to it tightly or in the right manner if the person is not securing the base the gele is going to shift or the v that you formed in front is going to shift and another thing is please look closely what i'm doing another thing is this split that you started with it has to go from the beginning to the end like you can see that at every single step i'm tracing and straightening all the pleats you can see that right i'm straightening and tracing all the pleats at every point in time this is really important to achieve a satisfactory outcome at this point, if you have not liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up now, please. And please leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you feel or what you think about this gilly. And if you have not subscribed, that thing does not cost you anything. Do you know? Please tap the subscribe button. I love you. And also tap the bell button beside it so that you get notified when I drop another video like this. Thank you as you do so. I love you. And family, I'm happy to inform you that I now create natural hair content. So please check my channel if you are a lover of natural hair or you are a naturalista. You will find really helpful natural hair content on this channel. So please check my channel. You will see videos and shorts of natural hair content, hairstyles. Myself and my daughter, we have really lovely natural hair and I share tips on how we achieve and maintain and grow our hair. So please check it out. Thank you. So back to our gele. You can still see that I'm still tracing and stressing the pleat even at this point. So at every point, it is very, very important. And this is where we form this fan on this side. So you can see the remaining fabric here. We're just going to form new pleats so it's not going to go beyond here and that's what forms the fan on the side all right it is it is simple it is simple to do it is easy yes it is easy to do and it is easy to achieve so just if, if you're not getting it just keep trying keep trying it's it, it sometimes takes time all right so you have to give it the dedication it requires spend time on it practice and practice over and over again and if you need to use your pin to secure your gele please do so don't say because somebody doesn't use pin or somebody uses just one pin you have to use one pin too no it doesn't work like that do whatever works for you if you need to hold each pleats with a pin please do so i know a gele artist that when they are tying fan. That person is using pin to secure every fan, like every pleat that forms the fan. is using a pin to secure all the pleats. So if you have to use pin, no matter the number of, of pins you use, just ensure it is neatly done and it is not showing. That's just it. So do whatever works for you and make sure your gele is firm. The person is holding it really tight. 
not everybody knows how to hold gilly so it's you that will tell them what you want them to do this is where i want you to hold put their hand and put it there where you want them to hold and ensure they are holding it very very firm this will help you at the end of the day and it's going to save you time because imagine your gilly opening up in the middle of tying it you have to start all over so little little things like this we need to pay attention to it if you watch up till this moment it means you are the real mvp and i really appreciate you for that thank you so much i love you and i really appreciate you after doing the finishing finishing is very important in gilly time i always say this after doing the finishing of this gilly i'll make sure i push it back and to take it over ears don't just pull out the person's ear when you are done with the gilly don't just pull out because you might hurt their ears like that what you will do is you will lift you will put your finger i'm going to show it okay when i get there i will show it to you So when you want to bring out the person's ear, just put your finger underneath the gele and lift it up. The moment you lift it up, the ear will come out and you just use your hand to smoothen it, your finger to smoothen it. And that's it. Don't pull out people's ear. Thank you. See you in my next video.